Hey guys, it's your girl AFM Stories and you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. Anyways, on this channel, I create content on scholarships, career, student lifestyle, and loads of content on the achieving scholarship specifically, which I won. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can get a high score in your traveling study in the UKSA. Yeah, so this is the third essay in your traveling scholarship essay, and this um, essay is where a lot of people actually get made up. <laughs> Love but actually made or broken. I'm not sure if that's the right English for you see what I'm trying to say. So um in this essay it's very important that you show basically they're asking you what are your course choices, what are the courses you want to study, and then beyond that, how exactly are these course choices related to your previous experiences or and your future goals? So it has to tie everything together. In all of my videos, um, the videos before this, I talked about how you can get a high score in your children leadership essay, how you can get a high score in your children networking essay, and I stress the importance of every single thing that you're doing related to the same field, same industry, same pathway, same idea. Let everything show how much passionate you are about what you want to do. So if you have been doing that in the previous essay or if you missed these videos I'm talking about, go check them out after this video, binge watch them, they'll be very useful to you. So if you have shown in your leadership your passion, how you've been working on that passion, in your networking you've shown how you've worked with people to develop that passion. In studying the UK, you need to show how you need the knowledge to develop that passion. Every single thing should lead up to somewhere. Take them on a journey. It's four different essays, but it's one person. So show how it's still one person they are reading. Now, one of the ways to get a very high score in this essay is don't just talk about the fact that it's related to your academic background and that's why you want to continue. Avoid even talking about the need for getting a higher pay at work. Nobody, this is not the time. They're not investing in you so that you can get a higher pay at work, really. They're investing in you so that you can impact the lives of people. So avoid things that reasons that focus just on you and how it will better you or make you better. But more about how you're going to get knowledge, get experiences, get networks that will allow you as a person to impact the lives of people or to develop the work of impact in the lives of people that you're already doing. So ensure that this essay is impact focused and your course choices are impact focused. Now I'm going to talk about the course choice first before I talk about the institution choices or I might talk about them intertwined. But whatever your course choice is, to get a high score in the essay, it has to solve a problem. Now, the same, possibly the same problem you'll be talking about or the problem you want to make the focus of your career plan. But your course choice has to solve a problem. You can't, the, the, studying the course has to help you to learn better about a problem or learn strategies of solving a problem. So for example, if you are passionate about bringing awareness for climate change, you have to study a course related to climate change, a course that allows you to learn about that. Now, beyond that, beyond just saying that, oh yes, the course is related, you have to talk about the course module. So, it's very important that they're telling you through university choices, your essay has to be divided into possibly three paragraphs or five paragraphs, depending on how much of a writer you have. But three paragraphs have to be dedicated to each of the schools and the courses. So a particular paragraph will be dedicated to a school and the course in that school. Please make sure that all three courses are the same. I feel like that also improves your chances because it shows that it's not just about traveling abroad or going to UK or going to any university, but it's very important that you study a particular course and you chose schools that were the best schools to study that particular course because that particular course is going to help you solve a problem. But if you just write, oh, first choice, I want to study mass comm. Second choice, I want to study um, videography, except it's related. I think it's all like even a little related. First choice, I want to study education. Second choice, I want to study development. Third choice, I want to study environment. It's not convincing, it's not inspiring. It's best all your courses are the same thing if they're not the same title their content or their purpose has to be the same so my courses were not verbatim the same names but they were almost like synonyms or they all had the same purpose which is very very important because in your explanation you have to talk about what the course content are it's very important that you talk about course modules 
because the essay is 500 words you can mention all the models but pick one or two models that are specific to the work you're doing or your career plan show how exactly you're going to learn from those course modules if you have the space so all these things are possible examples you can't possibly mention all of them but these are ways for you to boost your um boost yourself so beyond just saying oh the course is good you have to show the course models are there lecturers in your course that are pivotal in that field is there something that the school does professionally that can help you is there even something about the school's location do you get what opportunities are available for you to develop your leadership and networking skills or to develop your knowledge for your career plan dig deeper don't just talk about the fact that the school has good libraries nobody cares almost all the schools in the uk are good you need to show how that particular school is different how that particular school is phenomenal and in terms of helping you with your career plans for your course choices be specific about how exactly it is so for example let's say there's a course choice that's going to teach you um let's say you have an ngo and you want to raise funding for education so maybe there's a particular course module that is called funding for education that is very convincing as opposed to mentioning course modules that don't relate to anything so make sure you are relating your course modules to whatever it is that you want to do and this is very important do your research about your school don't just pick random schools don't just pick schools because they're in a particular city if the course choice is not even related beyond even shipping you don't want to study a course just because you want to get a scholarship because what happens after the one year you're still going to be back to your life because you have to return so don't just study something that is not relevant to you in any way you need to show your passion and don't just show your passion you need to actually be genuinely passionate about it because that will allow you to dig deeper great ideas for you promoting your your course choice i believe you should check your university websites they are very good at marketing their courses so read about what exactly they are even saying about the course learn from that that's going to really really help you as well with marketing the course and deciding and also in that essay show how this course choice is related to your previous ex experience or your career plan or how it's solving a gap or a challenge in your industry or in your knowledge of something that you want to solve that is very 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 important and also you should also need to promote the university as well so what is the ranking of the uni or the course if your school is not highly ranked, there's no need to talk about it. For me, I didn't mention the rankings of my school. But if your school is highly ranked, definitely you need to mention the rankings of your school. Mention things that are pivotal, but not things that are generic. Also, avoid lifting things off the school website or off the course module description. Say your examples in your own words because they will know. So that's very important. Also, it might be good for you to even demonstrate previous learning experiences and how this is going to really boost it. So, for example, maybe even it's related to your first degree. So, do you do a module in your first degree or a course in your first degree that really inspired you to realize that you need to learn more about this? Or in your professional experience, did you discover something that really piqued your interest? So, there are different angles. So, these are just possible examples. You obviously cannot say all of this. Avoid that. Pick your angle and run with it. Be very, very detailed about it. Don't just say, I want to study this course. Don't mumble everything together. Give specific paragraphs to university and course choices. So my first choice is the university of this and I'm studying this course and this is why this course is needed, this, this and this. My second choice is the university of this, this particular course, this is why this school is amazing, this is why this course is amazing, this is what I want to do with it. My third choice is this, this and this. And think about all the achievement parameters, so academic, leadership, networking and career. Let all of your examples reflect this. So I hope the video was very useful to you guys. Um, like I always say, it's very important that you, beyond just watching the videos, you go back, you internalize it, don't just leave, such as watching more videos. As After you're done with this video, go back, go and research, go and actually work on it. Because I know something about procrastination, it can make you just keep procrastinating and thinking you have time. You don't have time, but <laughs> start working on it right now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button, drop a comment. If you want my specific direct work with you, so you want me to review your essays, you want me to speak to you about any problems or questions around scholarships, around shipping scholarships. Basically, you need clarity or direction or strategy for all of this. It's, in, it's included in the description box below on how you can reach me to discuss more about this. I'm looking forward to working with you, looking forward to seeing you win. 
a scholarship because you will you're watching this video it means you're intentional about your goals and i can't wait for you to succeed hit the like button if you haven't by now subscribe comment share and i look forward to seeing you guys in the next video you can also binge watch other tripping videos on my channel if you haven't watched them all right guys bye